Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Pam, the Fru Girl Mama, and I liked the way my last video came out using my phone. So now that I know that it has enough storage, my new phone, we're gonna use my phone from now on. I think I have to back up a little bit. So <laughs> I started this off taking the thumbnail. We might as well do this one first. So they have lots of cute back to school items right about now, which like I said in my last one, I think I said, maybe I said it in my live on Facebook, but um, seeing back to school items now in July does not thrill me as a teacher. <laughs> I don't want to think about it. Like people want the summer over before it even starts, in my opinion. Like there was back to school stuff in the Dollar Tree around 4th of July. And that's not cool. <laughs> so anyway, I digress. <laughs> So this is what I found in the back to school section. These cute little like, I guess they're like pop-up pencil cases, little containers for your desk. So I got one in every pattern I could find. And let me just show you like, I feel like, you know, like maybe you could compress them when you're not using them. But when you are, they're pretty like sturdy. I don't know, even if you put like paper clips in them or like, I don't know, thumbtacks pens me pencils maybe but I got this like it's like a gray and white graph design and then I got the same design in black and white and then I got this cute um triangular pattern geometric pattern whatever you want to call it and then I found a square one post-its pop your post-its in here but like, I really, really don't need these. I have plenty of stuff for my desk at school, but um, they're just so cute. Like I just couldn't leave them there. So that was a back to school find. And then this could be used for back to school. This could be used for at home, whatever you choose to use it for. And I've been looking at it like the past few times I've been there and I really wanted to get it because I'm really into the gray and white marble. And if you had seen a few videos back, I had purchased one of those gray and white marble desk organizer trays. Um, again, I don't know what I'm gonna use it for, but it was just so cute. But this would match perfectly. But really this is more like, it's like, um. It's like a vinyl and it's not contact paper. It's thicker and it's not adhesive, but um, you could put it in your refrigerator. You could line drawers with it. You could line shelves with it. So I guess you could use it in a classroom too. Just an idea for teachers, but really like probably I'm going to use this most likely in the refrigerator because I like being able to just like pull it out and like wipe it down. I can't like really get in there all the time, you know? <laughs> Another item for the re <laughs> not the refrigerator. Another item for the kitchen are these measuring cups and spoons, and they're in white. I know for the longest time they had red, but now they have white. So if you have a farmhouse themed kitchen, this is perfect, and they're good quality. They they're like very solid feeling. So and it says dishwasher safe. That is huge. Then. I don't know why guys, but I kind of went like gung ho on like the dental aisle for some reason. I don't know. Like, honestly, we haven't, me and my girls have not been back to the dentist since COVID and we were all due. And like, I've been like feeling like something up here and I know something's brewing, but I'm always super proactive with my teeth. We, all three of us, we brush, we floss, we use mouthwash, well, they use a fluoride mouthwash. Um, I use a water pick every night. Like we are really on top of our game, our dental game. So like, I guess when I saw the Dollar Tree had so many cool dental items, I kind of went overboard. But the first thing I got was replacement heads for an electronic toothbrush. So right now I have Sonicare. Um, so it doesn't actually stipulate on here. It says works with battery powered toothbrush. That's very vague, but I'm gonna give it a try. For a dollar, if it doesn't work, I will throw them out. I'll let you know. Um, right now I have a Sonic here, but I did buy another one in like a blush pink just cause I like the color. <laughs> Typical Pam, right? And um, I forget what brand it is, but I got it from QVC and I got me a pink one I got my girls I think like one got an aqua one and one got a purple one they're so cute 
I didn't get for my fiance because he's like very picky about his dental care as well. So I left that up to him. I know he likes his particular toothbrush. I believe he has a sonic care, like the latest and greatest. <laughs> And then I, um, so in the mornings, I don't use my electro my electronic toothbrush, my Sonicare. I use a regular toothbrush, which I know sounds weird, but I feel like in the morning, I just want like, oh gosh, okay. I feel like the Sonicare, yes, it gets everything out. It gets like, you know, like at your gums and stuff. But for some reason in the morning, I feel like a regular plain old toothbrush really like freshens my breath and I like scrape every, my tongue, the roof of my mouth, like the sides of my cheeks, like I go all over, I go hog wild. So I bought myself some replacement toothbrushes and these are good, these are AIM and these are nice and thick. Um, and do they have the back? No, they don't have the back tongue scraper, but that's okay because look what else I got. This oral care kit. <gasps> Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna be doing this scrapey thing at home. I'm not a dentist. I don't attempt to be one. I'm not scraping anything off of my teeth. But this baby, I actually literally just bought the whole pack just for this baby because I love having a tongue scraper. Does that sound weird? Okay, comment below if you do that too. Does anybody else do that too? Because after I brush my tongue, like I'll go over it with a tongue scraper until it's clean because I want really like clean, fresh teeth. <laughs> Is that crazy? <laughs> and then I saw these and usually I buy like the ones with the um, sanitizing built into it. Like there's a special like component in them, but these were only a dollar and I figured like for travel or replacement if we need it real quick, these are the, actually it does say antibacterial, um, but I don't think it has a sterilizing thing in it, but antibacterial toothbrush cases. And I grabbed two of these. There's four in each. Why not? Like, keep it on hand, right? And this is not dental, but the last thing I want to show you, I don't know how this ended up in here, this magnet, but that's for my phone. Um, I, I used to, a long time ago, like when I was in high school, like I would get sinus infections like crazy. And so I learned how to irrigate my sinuses, um, not with a neti pot, with like a bulb syringe. But on top of that, the doctor had prescribed me um, Guifed or Guifenicin and then I was taking it for a long time and then they started saying like oh it wasn't prescription anymore or whatever so I just stopped taking it but I didn't realize that it had gone over the counter and I haven't thought about it in years but then I found this and it says mucus relief and it's pure Guifenicin I hope I'm saying that right Guifenicin okay Guifenicin <laughs> and so um it's cool because like if you have high blood pressure you're not supposed to take a decongestant right and I do like ever since my second pregnancy I used to have low blood pressure and then with my second pregnancy it went up and then it never came down even though they promised me it would come down after it never did but like I really should be eating better and exercising and drinking water and all that jazz but I digress again so anyway if you um feel like like you're especially mucusy, the Dollar Tree has this now. Like it's not, it doesn't have the decongestant, so it's not gonna raise your blood pressure. It just thins out what, you know, I hate to say what mucus you have going on, but like, yeah, that's what it is. But I know some people don't like that word. I don't even really like that word. Okay, and the last bag I'm on is just fun stuff. So this says family, a whole lot of love and I thought I would I thought it'd be a good idea to put the picture of me my two girls and my mom when we went to visit her in the nursing home in this picture frame and then put it somewhere in her room at the nursing home so that was a good find then okay in high school I used to be addicted to velaments but they had um, like a chocolate mint flavor and I was trying to be so good so good at that time. I was eating so well that I wouldn't even eat chocolate because I knew if I ate some chocolate, it would lead to more chocolate and more chocolate and more chocolate. So I would eat these chocolate mints and I thought they satisfied my chocolate craving, but then Vela Mint stopped making chocolate mints. But at the Dollar Tree, they had Vela Mint Blood Orange Mints. And I thought, well, let me give it a try. I mean, it's definitely not going to be chocolate. It's not going to cure any cravings, but I just thought blood orange might taste good. So let's give that a go. 
And then the last thing is this stretch, it's called stretch lace, but it's like stretch thread, I guess, um, in aqua pink, like a lavender and then a darker purple. And this is going to be for my girls because we've been doing a lot of crafting this summer. We've been making friendship bracelets, beaded bracelets, and you can use these for both. So that is it for my Dollar Tree haul. I know it was a short haul this week. Um, we haven't really gone to Dollar Tree many times this week. I just dropped the bell in this, of course, because it's a Pam video, right? Like I have to always drop stuff. Um, but before we go, I just wanted to mention, I know I've talked to you guys before that I, about my skincare products that I sell luxury high end skincare. And I think I'm going to be focusing more on that with you guys. You know, I love to save money when I can, you know, I'm frugal, frugal. Um, and I do, I try to stretch my money out as much as I can and stay on a budget. But when it comes to my skincare, I am willing to spend a little bit more. And I'm not saying my skincare is, um, it's not expensive because when you break it down per month, it's not. But I will spend more than like Dollar Tree items on my skin because I feel like your skin is the first thing you see that people see and it's what you present to the world. And I know that I want to preserve my skin as much as I can. Like I'll admit right now I'm 41 and I think my skin looks pretty good but it's because I take care of it. You know, I have a regimen that I use every single morning and night and, um, and I just absolutely, absolutely love the product. So if you like use, you know, using good skincare, if you like my skin and you would like to like try what my skincare has to offer, message me. I have samples I could send to you, but I also want to talk about this. So this box contains seven days of facial masks. So each day it addresses a new skincare concern, like brightness, lightness, tightness, fine lines, wrinkles, all those goodies that we all try to keep away, right? But um, so what I'm doing is I'm opening up a challenge over on my Facebook for anybody that's interested and I need at least five people to join. And if they do, we're going, you have to allow me to post your results though, okay? That's the thing. You have to allow me to post your before and after results. And everybody's going to mask up. We're gonna go into a group chat every single night and do the masks together. And the person with the best results will be given this box for free. So what we're gonna do is everybody purchases it, purchases it ahead of time. And then if you're voted to have the best results, then I will reimburse you for your box. But we're also gonna be doing a water challenge because I need to up my water and that helps your skin so much, you guys. So if you're interested in this, comment below. I would love to get you into our little um, face mask challenge, but there's a different one for all seven days of the week. And I've seen before and afters already, and some people have like, they look so rejuvenated and like bright, it's incredible. So I haven't opened my box yet. I'm waiting to do the challenge with you guys. I opened it up to all my Facebook friends too, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna showcase it on my Instagram as well. So if you're interested, comment below and let me know. Um, but right now I just want to take time to just talk about something a little bit more serious. And I know I always use, usually like to keep my videos lighthearted and I joke around, but I just want to, um, say that our good friend, Jennifer Mowen over on the YouTube channel, Jennifer Mowen five, I believe it is. Um, she was involved in a serious accident recently over this weekend. So if you guys could please just keep her in your prayers, her and her husband. Um, it was, it was just, she posted a video today and it was very sad. So I'm thinking about her. I am praying for her. If you pray, if you're inclined to pray, please send her your prayers as well. If you don't pray, please send her all the good vibes you can because she's a sweetheart and she really, really needs all the prayers she can get. So that's, oh, that's it for this week. Sorry. That's it for this time um i will be going shopping again and i will probably be on next week but in the meantime stay safe everybody love you guys bye